It's a rail network that carries 36 million passengers a year and a rail network that's been serving Tynan Weir for almost four decades. Since 2010, Nexus has invested more than £300 million in the Tynan Weir metro system. It's part of a huge asset renewal programme that will safeguard it for another generation. The renewal of overhead lines is part of that. With 106 root kilometres of overhead wire to replace, it's one of the biggest maintenance projects the company has ever undertaken. Yeah, over the last nine years, Nexus has spent £300 million renewing the infrastructure of the metro system. And this project, renewing the overhead lines, is one of the biggest projects in all of that. It's about £20 million in total in size, but it takes several years to go across the system renewing the overhead lines, and that makes it one of the biggest projects. Overhead wires are used to conduct electricity to trains. Without them, the train simply wouldn't run. The older the wire, the more chance of it failing and the more chance of unplanned disruption. The bulk of the wire has been here since the Tynan Weir Metro was built, which is why this renewal work is so essential. So this is the same wire that was installed almost 40 years ago when Metro first opened and over time it's become worn and when it becomes worn it's more prone to failure. If it fails then that becomes very disruptive to the service we provide. So by renewing the wire this is an investment in, in, in helping to ensure that the metro stays as reliable as possible for decades to come. The last time this work was undertaken was before Metro opened and there were no trains running and it made the installation an altogether easier task. Today, with a fleet of trains running on a system that operates for 20 hours a day, scheduling this in a way that has minimal impact on customers has been one of the biggest challenges. By closing parts of the network for a weekend, it means more than one kilometre of wire can be installed in a single run. The more wire that's replaced in one go, the stronger the system is for years to come. Now we always try to do this work at weekends because that's when there are fewer passengers using the system and not as many people travelling to work and that's what we do. We understand that it causes disruption for our customers um, and we always try to make it as short as possible and to provide good bus replacement services um, when there are lines affected but it is necessary to make sure that the system is fit for the future. It's taken three years for experts to construct the bespoke equipment that is being used for this work and a specialist firm from Switzerland has designed the overhead wire support system alongside Nexus engineers. On scheduled weekends teams work day and night on what's almost a production line, with those at the front taking down old wires and those at the back replacing it with the new. Each drum like this holds more than 1,000 metres of cable, which can all be fitted in one go. That means the strongest possible result. It's painstaking work, but it's vital. We're going to be seeing the old wire unclipped and taken down, and then we'll put the new wire up and then we do what we call registration, which is getting the wire put into the very precise locations it needs to be in before we finally do the tests and assurances and then we can allow the trains to start running again. At a cost of £20 million, this is one of the most complex projects Nexus has undertaken and it's also one of the most important. The renewal of these overhead lines is essential to make sure that the Tyne and Weir Metro continues to be part of everyday life for decades to come.